Only for Game Boy Advance. Made by Nintendo and Capcom. Walkthrough commentated by PK Gam. Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Let's get this started with a good old fashioned intro. A long, long time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow, the tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. What's that sound? I hear clanging. So, the game starts with a little Zelda walking down the road to a small cottage. Why would she want to do that? Well, let's find out. Aha! The sounds of a blacksmith. <laughs> Good morning, Master Smith! Goodness me, Princess Zelda! Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Link? By the way, uh, Link is the character that you play as, and the character you play as is named off of the save file that you name. So technically, the Link in most Zelda games is completely nameless. <laughs> the whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Link was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fun. Link, time to get up! Oh, I'm so hungry. Alright, game controls, D-pad, move around, R button while moving, roll, and that's pretty much all there is right now because you get your stuff later on. They keep it simple just to get things going so that no one is too confused, and I'm gonna go outside. Oh, dang it, why was I never given a key to my own home? <sighs> hey, how's it going? Hey, Luke. Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Well, yeah. yeah, Link, come on! Let's go check out the festival together! You know what? That does sound good. I I'm pretty hungry and they, they probably have some food. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes. After all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making a sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Oh, fine, I'll be Aaron Boy too. But first I'm getting food. So I got the Smith Sword, and it's impossible for me to lose this because you cannot drop it from your inventory. <laughs> this is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it, and while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Okay. I don't... <laughs> exactly. Nothing has ever bad happened to anyone named Zelda. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. <laughs> come on, Link, let's go. Check... <clears throat> let's go check out the festival. Okay. Oh... Wait, what? You have a key to the my house, but I don't want... Fine, well, whatever. What else do you have to say, Master Smith? Mm, like 
I said, nothing bad is gonna happen, that's ridiculous. Press A to open chests. And rupees is this game's currency, I should say the Zelda game's currency in general. And I just got 20 of them. The value of rupees varies from game to game. And yeah, you... Oh, blue one, that's worth five. Yay! Uh, red ones are worth 20, blue ones are worth 5, green ones are worth 1, and those are your most common rupees. I'm gonna surprise you by not telling you the remaining rupee values, because there's a bunch more to find throughout the game. Okay, later, I'm gonna pluck some grass. <laughs> yeah, you can do this too. So, our button is a multi-tool, so to speak. And I'm going this way. I'm tired of this closed gameplay. Ah, dang game designers. Fine, I'll take the linear path over to Zelda. Link, hurry, let's go. Okay. Here we go. And stop stopping me. I know the way. Ah, what's the sign say? Good to know. Too bad passerbys won't know. <laughs> <laughs> awesome sauce. Woo! This music is catchy. I'm dancing, I'm grooving. Oh yeah. Here you are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? Indeed it does. Come on, let's look around. Okay, let's do so. So we got a bunch of balloons, we got people to talk to, so let's do so. Well, thank you. Hmm. Oof, that's just a legend, that's ridiculous. Who would believe such a tale? Hey, here's another sign. I th I, there's, there's a sign just outside that said that. Ah, you're just as useless! <laughs> Whew. Preparing for the festival left me absolutely exhausted. Still, I'm just enjoying watching people have fun. That's good. I too enjoy watching people have fun, like watching walkthrough videos. <laughs> Do you think I'll really see the Picori if I'm my best behavior all the time? Well, n no, because they don't exist. I don't believe in the Picori. There you go. That, that's a true skeptic. Mm, what do you have to say? Mm, yeah, I suppose. I, I'm, I love uprooting signs. But where the heck is the food in this place? This is preposterous. Link, there's a storyteller here. You should stop and listen to- Oh! I wonder what's over there! And she's extremely excited. Alright, story guy. Long, long ago. And then even longer before that. Evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. They were powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble. But then, the Pecori came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic life force and the Pecori blade, the beasts were repelled. And the world of humans once more knew peace, thanks to the Pecori. So as not to forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now, remember little ones, the Pecori only appear before our good little children. If, only, if you only do bad deeds, you will never get to see them, so be good! That, that sounds like a way to make kids behave, in all honesty. What do you have to say about this story? Hmm... If only it was true. If only it was true. FOOD! FOOD! Yes! Yes! Finally! Not as important. Hmm... I, I suppose it is a spectator sport. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder who won. I guess maybe we'll find out later. I mean, we're, we are dropping off that sword there anyway. Alright, food, food! Come on up, come on, come all, gather on and have a look-see! I'm having a huge sale on all manner of delicious and festive vegetables! I wanna buy! I wanna buy! No, must buy, why, why are you not selling to me? Are you discriminating based on age? Uh, this is my first ever Pecori Festival. So, where are all the Pecori anyway? They don't exist. The day and night he's going on and on about Pecori this and Pecori that. Doesn't he know that they're nothing but a silly fairy tale to make kids behave? See? I, I knew it! I knew it! I called conspiracy and I was right. 
So, the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that! Woo! And she's gone again. Only once every hundred years does the my mystic doorway open. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Picori. When this door opens, the Picori can enter our world. And guess what? This marks the hundredth year since they last appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. Hmm. They don't exist. Alright, kids, what do you have to say about this? Hey, what? Hey, have you ever seen the Picori? I saw one just the other day. It wore a red comb shaped hat and it was really small. <laughs> yeah, right. Like anyone's going to believe you. That's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, whatever. Just leave him be. I've never seen the Picori before. Hello, wandering scholar. I've been on the road for a while. I came back in time for the festival. What? Back in time? But did you need a flux capacitor for that? Oh, never mind. It feels wonderful to be back in Hyrule again in this joyous time. I, I must put these feelings into verse. You get on that. I've got other people to talk to. You're the boy from Old Master Smith's place, right? Yeah. I'm sure you know this, but he's the best swordsmith in Hyrule's ever best swordsmith Hyrule's ever seen. Every year I enter the tournament trying to win that sword of his. I haven't won yet, and maybe I never will. But the tournament was awesome. The winner of this year was a new face. I've been wondering where he's from. He used some incredible techniques and won the tourney in record time. <clears throat> record time. Interesting. Zelda, what do you have to say about this? Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of... I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over here! Woo! And she's off again. Ah, fine. I love festivals. It's like seeing your town transform into another world. It really gives you a chance to think about how well we have it here. Oh, hi. Are you enjoying the festival? It's so much fun. I'm so happy to be here, and my fresh fruits are just delicious. Buy some, I will. I would love to buy some. No, no, fruit. Why? I want fruit. I want any kind of food. <sighs> come on, come all. Try your luck and win incredible prizes. Okay, let's see if Zelda won something. Woo! I think she did, I think she did. Woo, she did, yes! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing, wow! You get your choice. She was the only entrance, it looked like. Unless the other ones are just scattered around the place. <laughs> okay, let's see what the prizes are. <gasps> oh, get that. Yes, get that. You want that more than anything. No, no heart container is definitely worth more than the Magnificent Gem, I assure you. I assure you, no shield, definitely not the shield. Take the thing on the left. Heart. Pretty. Must. Have. Sparkly. Life increasing heart container. Okay. No. No, not that one. No. Not. No. No. Don't. Don't you dare take that. Take. The heart container. Yes. Listen to Raffle Guy. Yes, the Hearthstone. Definitely the Hearthstone. Get it. No, not the giant gem. She, she wants the Hearthstone. Yes. Agreed. But the Hearthstone is even better. Z Zelda! No! Yes, she is. I Who wouldn't want the Hearthstone? Yeah! You idiot! I hope you turn the stone for this! Oh, I guess... Fine, I'll forgive you. Especially since you... Planned this for me and all. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, I guess it's a thought that counts. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, nothing's gonna happen. We went through that before. <laughs> I'm so depressed. Probably because I'm still hungry. 
No one's selling me food. I have 25 rupees. I could afford the food if they wanted me to buy food. <sighs> mm, you're the same two kids from before, aren't you? Hey, snot nose kid. So, so, so. I've been good all year, like all year long. And you know how the Picori only shows themselves if you've, been good, if you've been good. And so, 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 I'm just willing for the Picori to come play with me. You'll be waiting a long time. Who are you, interesting travelers? My sister and I came a long way to see the Picori Festival this year. Is it true that the festival's named after tiny people the size of my thumb? Well, that's what they say. It's kind of baloney. I want to see what they look like. Do you know where I can go see them? No, because they don't exist. People from all over the place come to Hyrule Town for the Pakori Festival. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of figured that. Hey, guard boy. I've been dispatched from Hyrule Castle up north to watch over the festivities. Mm, what's the sign say? Hyrule Castle. Isn't that kind of obvious because you've got this giant wall barricading the castle? This sign's gotta go too. Uh, Alright, so here's a path. Let's follow that path. Yes, let's do so. Another sign. Let's talk to the sign. We'll check it. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that sign's kind of useful for the passerbys. So it's gotta go. <laughs> oh, don't, sh don't shoot at her. Well, just go up and talk to him to get rid of him. Stop. Get him to block. I mean, get rid of the blockade here. It's unfair business practice. He's directing all the traffic into his business and taking away business from other business scrubs. That is just baloney. Hmm. Well. <sighs> oh. Well, it looks like the shield's gonna end up coming in handy anyway. Yeah, all he did was put up the shield to block. The nuts and deflected. Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival, and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, these scums have a tendency to spit butts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away. No one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. Maybe you should wear like a face mask or something to prevent the nuts from being shot out at people. That, I think, is a good idea, but thank you for getting out of my way. Alright, so... Alright, traveling along... Hmm, what is this suspicious center mark? Who knows? What is this sign? Who knows? Hmm... No, I'm not gonna pluck that sign. You thought I was, didn't you? Didn't you? Ah, Princess Zelda. When did you leave the castle? <laughs> she must have snuck out. Welcome to Hyrule Castle. Mm, what do you have to say here? Well, why not? It's just it's just a garden. What what are people going to do in a garden? If anything, that would be like a tourist attraction. You could you could make money from people coming through there. Really? Oh, fine. Hey you, do you have anything better to say? Ah, so for the award ceremony, you should take this. Take that to Minister Poltho. You'll find him in front of the castle. Okay. By the way, uh, you press start to check your inventory, and you can also you can save your game in here. Uh, you can see the sword in there. Uh, all the stuff I'll be filling throughout this walkthrough. I'm not going to spoil stuff, so I'm out of here. <laughs> Preparations for the awards ceremony are coming along nicely. That sounds good. Ah, copy pasta. Lazy copy pasta. Ah. All right, let's just go up here and see what's up. Oh, Link, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the Kingdom of Hyrule, I, Potho, accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. Awesome. I'm sorry, Link, but I better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. You're welcome. I still didn't get to eat, though. Potho, do you have food? Stop. Hey, why are you changing the subject? Uh, fine, fine, I'll join you. Alright, who won this dang tournament? And who here 
as a box launch. Do you know about that sword link? It is called the Picori Blade, and it looks and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is a sacred is <clears throat> sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. It's the king! And I'm sure you recognize that song from Link to the Past. Let the awards ceremony commence! Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade! Alright. So this is the mysterious swordsman who used mysterious techniques to mysteriously win the tournament. <laughs> Who think things are go this well? The Pakori Blade and the Bound Chest spoken of in High Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. Defend it! Defend it! Do your jobs! Oh, you suck! <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Pakori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. And they, they actually back away in fear. Oh, jeez, that can't be good. Pandora's box is opening! Yeah. Good thing I had that shield to protect me from something that could go through a shield. Should've got the heart container. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess of the mystic aura. The power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family. Interesting. If I leave you now, it will only cause me trouble later. That will never do. Oh jeez. Use the shield! Use the shield, Link! Ah, the shield is useless! And she actually got turned to stone! I feel bad now! <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now, to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Hmm? Empty? There is nothing in there but a rabble of monsters. What is the meaning of this? Well... I know the forest I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. Mmm. <laughs> 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 oh, pain. Such pain. I wish I had that heart container. I would have survived the blast. All I had was a shield. Uh. Oh, thank goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. All right, let's let's go meet up with him. I guess I still haven't eaten. Master Smith, did you bring lunch? Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is, as you have all heard, a sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. I'm sorry for wishing that, but she didn't get the heart container. If we had the sacred Pecori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pecori? Hmm? The Pecori? Not much, beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. That's the rumors, and I don't believe them. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Pecori are no mere legend. They are mo they most certainly exist. What? That's baloney. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pecori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within Minish Woods. 
They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. The what? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. The Bakori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? Ooh. Of course, I'm automatically volunteered for things, as is the nature of characters named Link or named via a save file. If Link has a cover, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. Uh, I do feel bad about that, so I probably should focus on that. Okay, let's do it. Maybe there's food along the way. I can maybe chop up the grass along the way and make a salad or something. Oh, poopers. Well, yeah. I can't use this to chop up the grass. It's broken. It's... <sighs> Wait, just part of it. What? Ah! Oh, thank you. Where'd that come from? Maybe I had it in my pocket this whole time. Sweet! I can use this to make a salad. Very well, then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once, humans and Pecori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Okie dokie. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press Start and then LRR to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. Because my sense of direction is terrible. And I have to go in that corner. Yeah, the in-game map for this game, I mean, I should say the overworld in this game is really small, but it's really compact. You'll see as we go. I am counting on you, Link. Only you can stop forest fires. Wait, no, 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 break Vati's course and free Princess Zelda. I got anything else to say? No? No, this all sounds about the same. Oh wait, something new! Hmm, sounds good. Well, I know where to go then. Even turned to stone by Vati's curse, her eyes are filled with life. Hurry, save her. I will save her, but I'll start saving her in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.